these nine points have been given in order to help you understand the idea of how a text can be interpreted at the level of phonology now we move on to the next slide constituency look here what is constituency we talked about in the very beginning of our discussion what is constituency constituency here is the compositional structure of language is known as constituency compositional structure how a uh, text is composed and what is its structure what is its hierarchy what is its level that level hierarchy structure is known as constituency phonology you already know in the discussion of phonetics but anyway it is defined as the study of sound patterns and their meanings both within and across languages such as phonology of english is different from phonology of arabic so as it is defined this phonology is the study of sound patterns and their meanings and that sound patterns and meanings may be within the language or across other languages so we can say phonology of english we can say phonology of arabic and we can also say phonology of english is different from phonology of arabic and so on so this we call phonology we move on to the next what is line it refers to melodic unit that is moments of prominence in a speech so moments of prominence in a speech when you speak sometimes it's a technical word this is not a normal word this is not a general word that line of a sentence just to understand this this is a technical word line line here is, refers to melodic unit it creates melody and how the melody in a speech is created because of the moments of prominence when we speak for example if i say i am a teacher what is this i am a teacher the same sentence can be spoken i am a teacher look the moments of prominence means some words some sounds are prominently pronounced and it creates melody it looks beautiful it looks nice so line it refers to melodic unit that is moments of prominence in a speech go to the foot foot is not the leg that we walk on this foot is different in language a foot is a combination of stressed and unstressed syllables which is repeated a given number of times in a line of verse to establish a meter so what is foot foot is a combination of stressed and unstressed syllables in any piece of writing in any line in any sentence in any point and this a food which is a combination of stressed and unstressed syllables this helps in establishing a meter meter is very much related to music melody now we move on to the next syllable you may have heard this word in the discussion of linguistics or syntax anyway come back a syllable is a part of a word that contains a single vowel sound and that is pronounced as a unit so for example book has one syllable and reading has two syllables so what is syllable you must be knowing the definition of syllable but here as a reminder it is a part of a word and it must contain a single vowel sound and it must be pronounced as a single unit and here one example is given book it has one syllable because it has one single vowel and the reading it has two vowels it means it has two syllables and then syllable has a long discussion so here we don't want to go into those details here we just want to give you the reflection of and understanding of following terms so that you understand what is interpretation of text at the level of phonology go to the rhyme the repetition of the same or similar sounds usually at the end of lines in poems or songs is called rhyme so for example time rhyme cat mat you can further add so many examples hat bat and so on so rhyme what is rhyme rhyme creates melody you know repetition of the same or similar sounds at the end of lines in poems or songs is called so repeating of the same and similar sounds at the end of lines in poem or songs this creates rhyme this creates melody and music this is right. next the onset is the initial phonological unit of any word that is for example c in cat m in mat s in sat etc look here onset is the initial phonological unit of any word initial means initial means beginning so onset is the beginning of any phonological unit of any word for example if you take the example cat which which letter which sound appearing first c so in the word cat c is happening c is coming initially so this is the initial initial phonological unit of this word c so c is the onset of this word likewise m in mat m is the onset of the word mat likewise in sad s is the onset of this word sad so the onset 
is the initial phonological unit of any word. Look at the onset. It helps children sometimes memorize new words. How? Because look here. There is, uh, if you look at the spelling of cat and mat and sat, what you find? You find that there is at here also, at also here, at also here. In all three words, at the end we have at, at, at. How do children will learn the new words? Because of recognizing the initial phonological unit, how it is different from the another, like C in cat, M in mat, S in sat. And these helps children in memorizing the new words. So this is known as onset. Anyway, further we have notification, note, means the important point to keep in mind. This is just for understanding. Onset and rhyme. This rhyme sometimes is spelled R-H-Y-M-E or sometimes is spelled as R-I-M-E. So both are the same, no problem. Onset and rhyme are terms that technically describe the phonological units of a spoken syllable. Syllables are normally split up into two parts. Remember, syllables are normally split, divided, separated into two parts. And the one part is called the onset and the other part is called rank. Okay. And the last point of our lecture is rank scale. A hierarchy of units related by constituency is known as a rank scale. What is rank scale? Rank scale is a hierarchy of units. A text as I told you, is a bigger unit. Then you go on dividing it into different hierarchies, different labels. So rank a scale, a hierarchy of units. And this is related by constituency. And this we call rank scale. So these are the terms, eight terms. You must keep them in mind. You must memorize them. And after you memorize these terms, go back to the text we have discussed about so that you can understand the philosophy of what is discussion about interpretation of text at the level of phonology?